Hey there. I've always been amazed by Canada's reputation for its cold winters and heaps of snow. It's like a winter wonderland. Have you ever been there during the winter? Hi! While I haven't visited during winter, I've read extensively about Canada's climate and history. The snow-covered landscapes truly seem enchanting. Speaking of winter activities, have you ever tried skiing or snowboarding? Canada is known for its amazing ski resorts. Absolutely! I'm a huge fan of skiing. The Rockies offer some fantastic slopes, and Whistler Blackham is a dream destination for any snow enthusiast. The thrill of gliding down powdery slopes is unparalleled. That sounds exhilarating. Those snow-capped mountains must provide an incredible backdrop. I couldn't help but draw parallels between the adrenaline rush of skiing and the explorers who ventured through Canada's rugged terrains. The likes of Jacques Cartier and Samuel de Champlain faced harsh winters during their expeditions. Interesting connection. While skiing is all about speed and technique, those explorers must have been incredibly resilient to survive those conditions. Speaking of historical explorations, it's intriguing how indigenous peoples not only adapted to these conditions, but also thrived in harmony with the land. You're absolutely right. Indigenous peoples' deep connection to nature and their sustainable ways of living showcase their profound understanding of the environment. Their history is indeed a significant part of Canada's story. I wonder if there are educational videos that delve into this aspect of Canadian history. Oh, definitely. Exploring Canada's history through educational videos could be a fantastic way for kids to learn about these cultures. Imagine young learners getting insights into indigenous traditions, their relationship with the land, and their contributions to shaping Canada's identity. It's heartening to think about. Such videos could help foster cultural understanding and appreciation from an early age. Understanding the mistakes made during early settlements and the impact on indigenous communities is also vital for a holistic view of history. True, acknowledging both the triumphs and the darker parts of history is crucial for growth. Just like in skiing, where you learn from every slope you conquer, understanding history's ups and downs can guide us toward a more inclusive future. Well put. And just as skiing techniques evolve, history gets refined through ongoing research and dialogue. These videos could provide a platform for open discussions about Canada's history, helping kids develop critical thinking and empathy. Absolutely. Critical thinking is as important on the slopes as it is when discussing historical events. Just as snowboarders adapt to different terrains, our understanding of history should evolve with new perspectives. I'm glad we had this discussion. From thrilling snow activities to the richness of Canada's history, it's fascinating how these seemingly distinct topics intertwine. It's like a ski run with unexpected twists and turns. Couldn't agree more. Thanks for this enlightening chat. Whether zooming down a mountain or delving into history, embracing the adventure makes it all the more rewarding. Cheers to that. Stay curious, whether you're exploring snowy slopes or the depths of the past. Let's keep appreciating the beauty and lessons they both offer.